Big Apple City is in a full-on heat wave. Woo! It is hot! How hot? I need a cool-off. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Can I interest you in my upside-down ice cream cone? I call it the Topsy-Turvy Scoop. If it's cold, count me in. <gasps> Your freezer is broken? Oh, no! All that delicious cold ice cream is gonna melt. Oh, it's gonna be fine. How can you be so calm about this? I'm friends with the universe. Friends with the who now? The universe. Me and the universe have been friends as long as I can remember. Why be worried when I know the universe is always watching? Let me get this straight. Your freezer is broken, your ice cream is melting, but you aren't gonna do anything because... the universe? Oh, I'm gonna do something all right. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Good. Hi, universe. It's Blueberry. My freezer is having a bit of a day. I was wondering, if it wasn't too much trouble, could you send guidance? I may not be friends with the universe, but luckily I do have a friend who can help. Sunberry got a broken freezer. Oh, that was fast. I knew I could count on my buddy, my pal, my universe. Ice Cube Bot projects waves of cold air wherever he goes. Aww. As long as he doesn't get too hot. Okay, time for plan B. Oh, we'll be okay, right, universe? The fan Tessie 800 attaches to the side of your freezer and blasts the coolest air. It's a little strong. <laughs> Plan C. Universe, any time now. The Mecha Sparkberry Turbo Cooler will freeze everything in the Berry Works, including your freezer! Um, Lemon, quick question. Should the freezing machine be heating up? I'm gonna go with no. My ice cream is melted? Oh, universe! Oh, we aren't the friends I thought we were. Blueberry, we're really sorry. Don't be sorry, friends. It's not you who let me down. It's the universe who... Made ice cream soup. Uh, ice cream soup? Oh! Whoa. Oh, silly me. The universe was right as usual. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? The universe wanted your ice cream to melt? <laughs> I know! That universe so wise. Strawberry, can you bake me some waffle bowls? The universe is just like any friend. Sometimes they see things differently than you. That's when you have to really listen and trust that they're looking out for you. Who wants to beat the heat with a delicious bowl of Oh, yeah! Thanks, friend. Uh, can't argue with the universe. This soup is good. Shortcake, you gonna let us in? So, it's the Berry Bounty Banquet, and I accidentally invited my Berry Bessie's entire families, but it was fine because Aunt Praline and I made it work, but then this lucky spoon caused a chain reaction that destroyed the apartment, and my friends and their families are all outside, and everything is ruined! You are not lucky, spoon. You are bad. Shortcake! Me? Okay, fine, I'll go. Hi, every berry! <laughs> What's up? What's up? We're here for the banquet. Everything all right? <laughs> Hold that thought. Uh, Orange, is your friend okay? I don't really know. We can do this! Give me two minutes and duct tape! Ah! Yep, she's lost it. <laughs> Fluffy Chiffon, one of Lime's dance? I hear you have some interesting flavors in that fabulous ice cream cart of yours. Oh, uh, weird flavors that make no uh, sense. Mom, everything Bagel is doing it again! Make him stop! 
Did Blueberry just get mad? <laughs> hey, now, it's like I always say to my little lemon zest, there's always a positive way to express feelings. Lemon's dad talks about feelings? Ugh, lemon zest. What? Like you don't get embarrassed by your family? <sighs> Shortcakes, let us in. It is getting weird out here. It's getting weird in here, too. Do we have a blowtorch? <laughs> What's up? Shortcakes, spill. Spill? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, spill? Spill what? My spoon destroyed the apartment and ruined the food, and I think the pressure broke my hand, and it's all my fault the penguins ruined! <laughs> <laughs> Why is every berry laughing? Holidays never go the way you expect. Oh, I could tell you stories. Sweetie, remember when Lom wanted to stay up and fell asleep in her mashed potatoes? She woke up with a potato mustache. Dad! A situation like this is a good character builder. The lesson we have to take away from this... Lessons later, babe. I'm hungry. Just show us what we can do. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I, I'm starving. Make this lady some common tea. Yes, yes. tried to hide everything. We're family. We fix our problems together. I can't believe it worked out. I knew it would. Uh-huh. What? Lucky spoon. If it wasn't for the lucky spoon, none of this would have happened. And isn't this kind of perfect? Yeah, it really kind of is. <laughs> Sorry, I doubted you. Country pie. I love it. Things are going fantastic at the Big Apple Berry Works. Apparently, every berry loves my authentic down home baking. I heard about I heard that it is so. Ooh, look at me. I'm a simple country berry. I make simple pastries for simple people. And I dress too matchy matchy. What? She does. I don't care how she dresses. She is taking all my customers. We need to show this country bumpkin how things work in Big Apple City. Why? We're your neighbors. I'm Raspberry Tart. That's my truck over there. Oh, and uh, this is Sour Grapes. That's your truck? Oh, and come drops. <gasps> so pristine. Wow. It is nothing compared to this thing you've got going on. <laughs> You're the fresh new fairy on the block. Oh, thank you. So, what can I get you, new food truck friend? Strawberry pie, <gasps> strawberry strudel, pano strawberry. That's a new one. We'll take everything you've got left. Everything? Eee! Ooh, uh, mm, mm. I sold out. Who did it? Me, I did it. <laughs> I hope this whole small town country berry thing doesn't get old. What do you mean? Well, this is Big Apple City. You've got to keep things fresh, or customers just move on. The country berry bit is cute today, but if it starts to feel stale, it's... Bye-bye, berry. Oh. Shortcakes, what's wrong? I sold out of everything. That's awesome! Awesome today? Tomorrow? Bye-bye, berry. Hmm. My country berry bit will get old! Berries will get tired of my baking! The universe put you here for a reason. Why would you think that? <gasps> Mystery solved. Look! Um, um, to raspberry. Come on down to the Raspberry Supreme for authentic country treats. Yeehaw. Oh, no they did not! Come on, 
shortcakes. We're fixing this. Raspberry tart? What did you do? What? Fairies like my authentic treats better than hers. Your treats? Those are my treats! You bought them and stole my whole, uh, my whole vibe! How dare you! Your treats were strawberry. Mine are strawberry and raspberry and have a bow. See, anyone can do country and the fairies have spoken. Oh, hello, strawberry shortcake. You're from the country. Are these authentic? Well, the berry who baked these definitely knew what she was doing. <laughs> Maybe a bit heavy on the raspberry. Mm. Ooh -wee. If y'all like mixing flavors, how about I whip up a batch of my authentic Everberry Country Coffee Cake to give you Cineberries a real treat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> raspberry made me feel like being myself wasn't enough. But then she tried to steal everything that made me me. You can try passing my treats off as yours, but there's only one authentic Berryville Baker in Big Apple City, and she's not going anywhere. Bye-bye, mm. <laughs> Berry. Okay, put that there. Over here, yes. Um, okay. Or here? Oh, I don't know. How are you settling in at the Berry Works? Still a little nervous. Nervous? Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> what, would, what would make you think that? Well, you've moved those same bowls back and forth ten times. I've been here like a minute. Oh. Pre-baking nerves run in the family. Fortunately, I knew just what she needed. Here, this should help. A gift? Woo! And Paley, you didn't have to get me a... <coughs> a dusty old spoon. Huh. Thanks. This is, uh... What baker doesn't need an extra spoon, hmm? No berry. No berry has a spoon like this one. It's been passed down in our family from baker to baker, berry to berry. It's special. Lucky. And it'll be your most prized appliance <laughs> once you get the hang of it. Ha! Get the hang of it. It's a spoon. <laughs> Let's begin. Total truth, Barry, I did think the spoon was kind of weird at first, but holding it makes me feel like generations of bakers have my back while I bake. Check it out. This spoon has definitely upped my game. Mm, mm. Yes, I can hear them now. The family is definitely proud. And now that I've mastered the ways of the spoon, I feel like I can handle whatever the berry works throws at me. Oh, mastered. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, what else could there possibly be to... Teach me to 
Uh, that's enough for today, young Barry. It takes a lifetime to truly master the spoon. Ooh, still got it. Pupcake! No! Here, boy! Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, I'm assuming this issue of the Terrific Tales of Tangerine Smash is yours and not Pupcake's? It's Pupcake's new game. Take my favorite stuff to get chased. Not a fan. What are you two doing? Oh, uh, Custard is just helping me train with my lucky spoon by hurling dough at my head when I'm not looking. You country berries do weird stuff with your pets. What? This spoon is lucky. It's been passed down in my family from baker to baker to me. The extraordinary berry would not be as successful without it. You don't believe that, do you? Well, why wouldn't I? Shortcakes. Berries like us are successful because we work hard, not because of a silly old spoon. What's so silly about believing a spoon is magical and lucky and looking out for you and wants the best and loves you for who you are? Really? Listen, Shortcake. <gasps> My spoon! I need it! Cupcake! No! We'll get your normal, not lucky spoon back! You don't know it's not lucky! The more I see, things work for me. I know good luck helped me through. My life is great, just trusting fate. I'm making all my dreams come true. That's not what I see, this is how it should be. Hard work's the very best guarantee. Luck's not a plan and fate not a fan. My dreams come true because of me. But there's more than one way to make all of our dreams come true. So much more than one way. Yeah, there's more than one way to do what we want to do. There's more, more than one way. We're champions. We're saving our own day. No matter how you slice it, there's more than one way. We're champions. We're saving our own day. Keep going till you make it. There's more than one way. There's me and you. Best friends, it's true. Although we do things differently. Hey, that's OK. We do it our own way. It's, it's clearly working, working we agree. Shortcake, Kiki Key Lime, host of Bite of the City. I know! Yeah! You remember me? Sure! The hard-working berry with the fab truck at the Berry Works. Yes, hard-working. Exactly! I was actually just thinking about where to shoot our next episode. What about the Berry Works? Yes! Sorry, yes! Wow! That'd be great. I think so, too. Gotta run. Catch you later. Bye! I love you! Lucky I ran into you. Oh, yeah, it sure was. Lucky? That's just a coincidence. Uh, excuse me? We're looking for extras for the new Tangerine Smash movie. Either of you Tangerine Smash fans? <gasps> me! I love Tangerine Smash! You were saying? No way! Yoo-hoo! A luxurious lime! <laughs> Get rid of that basic bev and try this! The Elderflower Lemon Icy from Peels of Plenty! The best drink cart in Big Apple City. Welcome. Uh, what was that about? Bread pudding's been acting really weird all week. Try these hair ties. They're less black than yours. Welcome. Mm. Here. The history of doorstops? Yeah, books are your thing. Welcome. You have to up your frame game. Red, my glasses have a really strong prescription. <laughs> Welcome. I think he's trying to be nice. That's even scarier. I'm getting to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. Red, ah! you're being nice to Lime in a weird snooty way. Why? What do you mean? Look, I know you and the other Mean Berries don't like me. Mean Berries? Seriously? Look, 
I'm a big Lime Shea fan. She's the only other Barry around here with any style. Obviously, since her dad is Fluffy Chiffon, the biggest designer in Big Apple City. You knew that, right? Sure I knew that. Yeah. I did not know that. Well, he just released the Fluffy Chiffon All-Season Multi-Weather Limited Edition Waistcoat. I have the best connections in the city, but I still can't get one. No. Uh. No. Hmm? Uh, yes! <gasps> no. Oh. So, you're using a sweet, smart berry like Lime to get some vest? No! I did some nice stuff for Lime, a berry I could be friends with, so she would be nice and get me a waist coat. You gave her a lemon icy from some other card, a book she won't read, glasses she can't wear, and you insulted her hair ties. Have you seen her hair ties? Maybe Lime would help you if you were just honest. Right! Honestly, tell some Barry who barely knows me that I want a waistcoat her dad designed? Why would she help me? Because that's how friendships work. If you really think you'd like to be friends with Lime, then try being her friend. Trust me, because I am really good at friendship. Uh, hi, Lime. So, what Bev would you recommend? Sure you don't want to drink from Peels O' Plenty? Sorry about that. And about the book. Thank you. Listen... Not done. If you like the glasses, I can get your crazy prescription put in, no problem. Oh, that's very... Still not done. Your hair is fab, and the new hair ties would show it off more. But yours aren't blech. Oh, wow. I... Almost there. I did all that so you'd help me get your dad's new waistcoat. But I'm also a big Lime Chiffin. You're just so... you. Then why are you always so... you? I wasn't always a trendsetter. I used to be shy and a tad klutzy. And sometimes it's easier to make fun of other berries before they make fun of you. But some berries said I should try being honest. So, I don't care about the waistcoat, but I would like to get to know you better. Behind you. <laughs> my goodness! Are you okay? Your, your... Bread pudding, this is my dad. Dad bread pudding. Oh! Then this is yours. Oh, I'm gumdrops. Uh, why? I may have overheard your chat with Strawberry. I'd like to get to know you better, too. You're kind of funny when you're not being snooty. But right now, you have a waistcoat to try on. <sighs> Sweetheart, it's on backwards. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> See, Custard? I told you I was good at friendship. Business at the Extraordinary Berry is booming, which is fantastic. Just one teeny tiny problem. Oh, my teeny tiny oven. I can't bake fast enough to keep every berry happy, which is a good problem. But still, it is a problem. My cranberry jam says every problem has a solution. I don't know anything about fixing ovens, but I know some berry who does. So, Lemon, what do you think? You came to the right berry. I'll give you an oven like no berry has ever seen before. Uh, nothing crazy. A little bigger. Maybe a second oven rack? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oven rack. Got it. Okay, let me know if you need any. And you're gone. I'm gonna turn that oven into a baking feast. This oven is not messing around. I guess I can work with this. With six burners, I can finally make every color of that rainbow fudge pad a shoe I wanted to try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lemon, let's see what your oven can do. Lemon really came through for me. I was afraid she'd get carried away and cause some kind of disaster. But I guess I should have trusted her. No, never mind.
There it is. Um, oven. <laughs> Maybe the oven is a little too powerful. I don't know. What do you mean? This is great. <laughs> huh. Maybe I can turn it down. A little. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's uh-oh? What's uh-oh? <laughs> Great. Uh, I'll make a few adjustments. Smaller? Mm -hmm. Smaller. Less explosive. Duh. Less explosive. And pink. Pink? Oh, come on. Okay. Pink. Introducing the Very Berry Oven. Now this oven says strawberry shortcake. Uh, I adjusted the spark berry intake so the oven won't go kablooey. Still pretty powerful, though, even if it is. Ugh, pink. Thank you, Lemon. Uh, little battle, I'm never gonna blend batter with this old mixer. Mixer, huh? I can take a look. What mixer? Oh, what? Did you say mixer? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna stir this the old-fashioned way. Yep, no more inventions needed here. <laughs> oh, none. No berry. Another great day! I love our jobs! I'm pumped! Who else is pumped? Oh, I'm pooped! By the time I close up, I have no energy left. You need energy? You ask this berry. You, me, tomorrow morning. It's gonna be epic! Do I have a choice? Nope. It's what friends are for. See you bright and early. Um, what did I agree to? I'm all about being the best me I can be. And now I can help Shortcakes be the best she, she can be. What are Berry Besties for? Ah! Ah! Where's the butters and croissants? Morning, Shortcakes! It's 4 a.m., which means it's... Time to sleep four more hours. Let's go, go, go! Get dressed and get a move on! Ah! This was a mistake. I should have... Ah! to work out. So, so let me just get this straight. I tell you I'm exhausted, and your solution is more exhaustion? Huh, funny. Let's go. Yes! Woo! I am not okay. Shortcakes? Oh. I give up. I still have no energy, and it's been what, days? Weeks? 20 minutes. What? Orange, thanks for the offer, but exercise is clearly your thing. And I think we can both agree that it is definitely not my thing. Uh -huh. I don't get it. Friends are supposed to do things they like together, but she hates working out and I love it. I love fitness the way she loves baking. Oh. Ah! Orange? Why? Come on, I got you. Trust me? Do I have a choice? Huh? What is all this? You'll see. Working out is not your thing, but fitness is important. And since your thing is baking, we're gonna get you stronger doing what you do best. Go! Another! Again! Push it! You got it! Energetic. 
challenge me to work out just for me. Hey, we should make workouts for each of you. Lime can lift books, blue ray can do arts and crafts relay. Lemon, we can squat truck engines. Uh, <laughs> Orange, I think maybe you energized her a little too much. It's the endorphins. Just leave her alone. She'll wind down eventually. All right, somebody get me a pad of paper. scared the strawberries out of me. That's the idea. It's nearly Frightfall. It's my first Frightfall in Big Apple City. I need to come up with a creepy cupcake. I'm sure you'll come up with something frightfully fitting. <laughs> oh, if you see the ghost, say hi for me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the what now? <gasps> Blueberry, wait up! <sighs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Did you say ghost? Yep. Jay Quincy Cupcake. He was the owner of the Berry Works when it was still a cupcake factory. Oh, Jay Quincy was a perfectionist who checked every cupcake for the tiniest blemish. I'm gonna tell him that! Some folks say his spirit still roams the Berry Works at night. Who oh, judging any baker working late and alone? But you've never actually seen Jay Quincy Cupcake's ghost, right? Huh? Oh, golly, I wish. I've tried to meet him for years. Maybe tonight you'll be the lucky berry. Have fun. Okay, a cupcake obsessed ghost. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Great, great, great. Yeah, not creepy at all. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake is scared of ghosts. Let's give her a frightful treat she will never forget. Ooh, okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. You're just gonna grab your lucky spoon and bake. There is absolutely nothing to be scared of. Just the lights, Strawberry. It's just the lights. Stop wavering! Oh! It's just a plant. <laughs> oh, it's a rusty sign, Strawberry! <laughs> you're just gonna, you're gonna get it together. <laughs> be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry. Holy hazelnuts! You're never gonna find inspiration for Scary if you're too scared to be inspired. <sighs> Calm down. All right, what's that? Bad plumbing? Seriously? Oh, ah! It is I, Jay Quincy Cupcake. Who dares bake in my present? Me? No, no baking here. It is you, Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> one time I don't want to be recognized for my baking. No one likes your gross country treats. Go back to Berry Day. <laughs> yeah -ha! The universe told me Strawberry was the lucky berry, and now I finally get to meet the ghost of the Berry Works. Put her there, Mr. Cupcake. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. Ah. Oh, have you met Strawberry Shortcake? She's a perfectionist, just like. Huh? Hello. Well, this is the J. Quincy Cupcake. Oh, we should try one of your cupcakes. No, Blueberry, they're hot. That's fine. I've got ice cream fingers, and he's a ghost. Ow! That's hot! You, you, what are you doing? Oh, um, gumdrops. You three are the reincarnated spirit of Jay Quincy Cupcake? <sighs> I knew it. Raspberry tart? Sour grapes? Bread pudding? Why are you trying to scare me? <gasps> That's it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ow. Just checking. It's my spooky surprise cake. Each bite has a new hidden flavor waiting to shock you. Raspberry, then grape, then bread pudding filling. Mmm, that is terrifyingly tasty. How did you ever come up with it? Really, Blueberry? We were together the whole time. Winter Swirl is such a beautiful holiday. Peace on Earth, goodwill towards other berries. Presents! Can we start the gift exchange? Can we? Once we're all here. Where's Strawberry? Here! I'm here! I'm... Ooh, ooh, this is so heavy. <sighs> I don't like to brag, but Winter Swirl gifts? Totally my jam. A perfect gift shows you really get your friends. And I get the perfect gift for every berry. These might be the most perfect gifts ever. <laughs> I don't know about most perfect, but... Wait for me! I'm here! I got it! Didn't want to miss the gift exchange. I've got the most perfect gift for my favorite berries. <laughs> it's not a competition. Because if it was, I'd 
clearly be the winner. It's a family tradition. It's the best gift I can give. A song. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful time of year. I love it. Is there more? Up to you. That's the gift. We make this song together. A song as a gift is bad enough, but a song you don't even finish. I'd rather get socks. Ugh, don't pay any attention to those berries. We get it now. Try again. It's a wonderful time of year. So much joy, so much cheer. Nary berries far and near. And all around us, winter swirling. So many things we can do. Deck the halls and shopping too. It's more fun when I'm what you give. It's about who you give it to. And Huck gave us all something really special. Three emails, two meetings, and one yoga class, and then I am good to go. Perfect. As soon as I finish these strawberry jelly donuts, I'll meet you at Garscone. <laughs> Did you say Garscone? Oh. Yep. Aunt Paulina is taking me out for a girl's night. W-O-W, -W, Garscone is the hottest restaurant in Big Apple City. The food is... What are you gonna wear? I was just gonna wear this. Close the truck. We're going shopping. I am not fancy. I don't need to get all dressed up to have dinner with my aunt. Strawberry has to get dressed up to have dinner with her aunt. It's Garscone! Blooming Berries is the place to find the perfect look for tonight. I don't know, Lime. This just seems too fancy for me. <laughs> uh, why are you looking at me like that? Really blowy fantasy, go big, go bumpy, fun, be free. Really blowy fantasy, go big, go bumpy, fun, be free. A fancy night out on the town, that's super fun, so lose that frown. Let's go get you ready for your big night. Okay, you don't know what to wear, you got this girl, so don't despair. Time to get you ready for the spotlight. Be your fair free best, shine brighter than the rest. Be the finest berry on display.
perfect for Garscone. It's just not really perfect for me. You know what? I I'm not hungry anyway. Maybe I'll just tell Aunt Paling we can rain check for another night. Maybe when it comes to dress up, I can get a teensy bit carried away. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Wait! Jelly donut! Jelly what now? Nobody cares what's on the outside of a jelly donut. It's what's inside that matters. Dressing up is fun, but I know that no matter what you wear, you're gonna be a huge hit. You're you. Be your damn free best. Don't worry, don't be stressed. Find a look that makes you feel like you. Shine brighter than a star just by being who you are. That's the very best thing you can do. You look fabulous. Well, that is all thanks to my fashion guru, Lime Chiffon. Clearly. I mean, you look very fashion forward. I always try to look my very best. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a winter swirl tree. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Hmm, quick question. Why is Sour Grapes attacking the tree? She decorates it every year. Winter swirl. <laughs> Whoa. Deck the halls. This tree is like my soul. But, but, but winter swirl trees should be magical glowing beacons of hope! Isn't there any berry else who could... Oh, the scone. I've got an idea. Lemon would be great, but she's gonna say no. Why? Lighting a tree seems like a totally lemon thing to do. Whoever decorates the tree has to give a speech at the tree lighting. Lemon? Not really an outgoing berry, so why are you making that face? You know who is an outgoing berry? Me! <laughs> who better to turn Lemon into the perfect public speaker? Hi! Yeah, we've decided you're decorating the winter swirl tree this year. <gasps> no, 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 no! I don't do speeches. But you can make this place look more amazing than any other berry. Oh, that is true. And the speech? Pfft, easy once we turn you into a speech-giving machine. Please? Oh. Speech-giving machine activated. Ugh, that sounded better in my head. Fine, what do I do? Use descriptive words. You aren't lighting a tree. You're illuminating the spirit of the season. Uh -huh. Look every berry in the eye with a look that says, hey, you, listen to what I'm saying. Uh, if you get nervous, just think of every berry in their underwear. Gross. And last but not least, smile, be yourself, speak from the heart, and you'll be perfect. You get all that? Uh. Great! Show us what you've got. <gasps> hey there. Arr! So... Arr! I, uh, wanna illuminate the... Lots of spark berries. Underwear! We all have it! In summary, trees. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, that was... Well, see, this is why I never wanted to light the tree in the first place. The thing about being an outgoing berry is sometimes you forget not every berry is as outgoing as you. Um, Lemon? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. I know, I know. Just, just listen. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something you didn't want to do. You're perfect just the way you are. You're just so good at decorating. Huh? Yeah, well, if I didn't have to give a speech, I'd love to. Why are you making that face? The thing about being an outgoing berry is you can speak up for your friends who don't like speaking as much by getting rid of silly rules like having to give a speech. My pal Lemon is going to let her work speak for itself. <laughs> Speech. Yeah, I 
am pretty awesome. No! Hot cross buns! This is horrible! What's with all the yelling? My strawberry pies! I set them out to cool and look! I even put a sign out. Hot pies only eat when cool. But now some berry decides to come along and gobble them up. This really bakes my bread, you know? Who would do such a horrible thing? Oh. I can find the culprit. Yes! Lime is an awesome detective. Is that a donut? Crack a clue, take a bite. I've read a lot of Apricot Christie mysteries. I know all the tricks to find the who, what, where, when, and hi. <clears throat> also, I really like donuts. I don't think there are many clues to go on. It's all just a mess. Yes, this crime scene is a mess. No berry would eat pie like this. We are clearly looking for an animal. An animal? <gasps> this cat's paws don't match the markings in your pies. Therefore, she is innocent. Ha. Wow, you are good. Oh, I'm just getting started. Red Hot the Ferret, our next suspect. He is? What do you know about it, Ferret? Get out of town. Red Hot would never steal from a baker as sweet and generous as Strawberry. Aww. Thank you, Huck. Besides, he's been with me all day. Uh, hey, let us help. Leave no bag of flour unturned, no critter unquestioned, no pie left behind. I checked every animal, followed every lead, but I had nothing. Are you narrating right now? Here, Huck, you can have the last bite. I don't deserve it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Lime. You tried your best. I'll just have to keep a closer eye on- Huckleberry Pie did it. <gasps> I would never. You ate my donut like an animal. Just like the pies. Why would I steal from Strawberry? She gives me pies for free. Um, say what now? Her sign said, hot pies only eat when cool. Strawberry likes my music. She thinks I'm cool. So she leaves those pies out for me. That's not what the sign means, is it? No not even way. a little. Wow. I stole the pies, didn't I? Uh -huh. Yeah, totally. Just wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I really did think those were thank you pies for my smooth and jazzy tunes. I do think you're cool, and your tunes are very smooth and jazzy. <laughs> Just check with me next time. There's still one mystery left. Why do you eat pies like that? Big Apple Fair's pie eating champion, three years in a row. No better way to enjoy a pie. Okay, fairies, on your mark. Get set. <laughs> Pies do taste better this way. Another mystery? So. Animal. <laughs> the best thing about living in Big Apple City is there's always something amazing happening. Like today, the Berry Works is holding a golden berry challenge. Yeah, I have no idea what it is, but it sounds cool and I am going to win. Let's it up. Every, Every berry, berry touches the golden berry. berry. If you break contact for any reason, you're out. Whoever is left touching it at the end wins the secret prize hidden inside. Three, two, one, go! It's just us now. We are awesome! Ready to give up? Never! Hey, what do you think is inside of this anyway? Oh, an endless supply of books. <laughs> I'm gonna need more bookmarks. Books? No way. It's a slice 
ZX Kimisaki dirt bike. Sorry, there is no way a Kiwisaki fits inside that berry. No one does, though. Spark berries. Enough spark berries to fuel my greatest invention. The machine machine. A machine that makes smaller machines. <laughs> <laughs> What do the smaller machines do? I will get back to you on that. I bet the prize is a perfect song. So, there's like a speaker inside. No, just a song. It will play once and disappear forever. That's an interesting theory. What do you think, Strawberry? <gasps> Sprinkles! Wait, no, no, no. Chips. <laughs> <laughs> We're coconut flakes with a pinch of uh strawberry. Aw, fiddle faddle! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 oh, so I guess that means blueberry's the winner? Uh-huh. This pigeon is so interesting. Uh, with no clear winner, I think the prize goes to... The MC! Actually, I think he's the winner. Frappe was stuck there the entire time? I cannot believe we didn't notice that. You did say whoever was left touching it at the end was the winner. Ugh, fine. The frog is the winner. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. It's a gift card to Guava Spava. That's really so boring. Nice. A gift card might not be what we had our hearts set on, but maybe it's exactly what Frappe wanted. What would a frog possibly want with a gift card to a spa? Everything is going fantastic at Berry Works. Huckleberry Pie is fitting right in, and even bread pudding is cooled off. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. Here, let me hear it. Yes. Free What's wrong with the little music? It's a lot of music everywhere. I can't escape it. Just stay by your... You don't have a cart. Nope. I go where the song takes me. <laughs> Thing is, all Berry Works vendors need carts. No cart? No you. <sighs> no sad strumming without a cart. Bread pudding is correct. Every berry working needs a cart. <gasps> That's it! Huck can just work at one of our carts. It's a total win-win. Huck gets to stay, we get the help. Three blue blasts, two green meanies, one orange deluxe. Got that, Huck? Orders. I need a large lemon lime barricade blaster, extra syrup, half ice. You need a small? Large. Extra syrup, half syrup. Half a berry. Half ice. Uh, got it. Right, right, uh, blast the syrup. No! <laughs> uh, Maybe help lemon instead? Wrench. Uh, no, no, no. Where did the chicken come from? Oh. Inspire us with creative new flavors. Oh, close your eyes. What do you see? I see vanilla. Uh, an 
anything else? Vanilla ice cream. Maybe something more daring? Vanilla ice cream in a cone. <laughs> Mind blown. Your energy is simple. You should share it with the world. Just not here. Okay, let's see how you do baking orders. The oven gets hot quickly, so... Make sure you use oven mitts. And... I keep the mitts right... Huh? What is happening? Nothing. It's good that music's my passion. I'm no good at anything else. I'm really, really sorry, Huck. No tears, my song will never end Because I have you, my awesome friends Who love my art, with or without a cart <gasps> That's it! Instead of Huck working in our carts, we needed to help him get one of his own. The Huckleberry Pie Varioki Cart! You all did this for me? Wow. Hey, why are you still here? I told you, no cart, no way! And there is nothing that can change. Look, Brad, the girls made me my very own Barioke music cart. Barioke? Very, very, so contrary. Shake it up, pick it up, cooking me if I make it up. Or 